Let me first start off by giving you a quick introduction on CP. CP started off in 1921 as Chai Tai Seed Shop. Then in 1953, CP began its vertical integration upwards into an array of businesses. One of CP's earliest vertical expansion was CP Feed Mill, which focuses on producing animal feed for the local farmers in Thailand. In the 1970s, CP started breeding poultry, swine, as well as stream, forming its livestock and agriculture business. He then went to process his own livestock and setting up his own food processing business. CP then set up a distribution business focusing on distributing its processed food to partners such as 7-Eleven and Lotus Supercenter. It then moved on to integrate downwards by producing its own fertilizer. Horizontally, CP expanded into an array of non-core businesses such as Italian Communication, Petrochemicals, Real Estate, as well as Automotive. CP's business portfolio has grown too diversified and they as they focus on their non-core businesses instead of what they're best at. At the heart of it, they have grown too fast and they have increasing debt. So CP says we are growing too fast. Moving ahead, CP's goal ultimately is to be number one in the agro-food industry. At the same time, they want to ensure sustainability. However, there are various barriers that are preventing CP from achieving its goals. These are transparency issues, loss of focus as well as family-oriented management. Now let's take a look closely at the issue. Through a stakeholders analysis, there are two main parties involved, the shareholders and the CP family. Now let's take a look at the shareholders first. They are concerned with where are all their money going. At the same time, they also want to know where their dividends are. So they want transparency because it is important for them to know where their money is going. At the same time, they want focused strategy so that synergies be there will be synergies between businesses and risks are lowered. Thirdly, they are concerned with having capable management that can help them reap returns on investments. Ultimately, they want short-term returns. On the other hand, let's look at CP's family. So CP's family current objective seems to be seizing on all opportunities and on growth. So firstly, they want their finances to be managed by their families instead of outsiders. At the same time, they believe in seizing all opportunities including extensive expansions into non-core business. Lastly, the family-oriented management meant that everyone in the family was given managerial positions and expanding into various businesses. However, the business has outgrown the family and the family has outgrown the business. So now let's look at the solutions to the various issues. First, the transparency issue can be solved through listing CP company and adopting the policy of openness. Through making all CP entities listed, they will now have to disclose their financial and thus be open and, and accountable to the public. As such, the investors will say, Now I know where all my money is going! And by doing so, this will increase investors' confidence. Therefore, increase in transparency and increase in investors' confidence will result in an increase in investment. The lack of focus in strategy can be addressed by focusing on the agri-food industry and through strategic alliance in China, since CP has always strongly believed in strategic alliances as a key component. Why choose China? China is entering the WTO in 2003. As such, the Chinese government is moving towards consolidating its food safety regulations. Looking at where China is heading, CP saw a potential alignment of objectives. So, they say, let's go back to our roots. We can provide our expertise in the agri-food industry. At the same time, we can solidify our reputation as a leader in food safety in Asia. But hmm, who should we work with? Looking at the potential partners in China, CP could either work with the Agricultural Bank of China to help develop China's agri-food industry through providing expertise or work with the China Green Food Development Centre leveraging on the technology in developing organic food. We believe the way to go is to work with ABC. But why ABC? Going organic may be premature at this point of time because China needs to address the fundamental issues of food safety first before going organic. It needs to take one step at a time, and going organic can be the next step after it has met international standards. 
So how is this partnership going to take place? Firstly, there can be a memorandum of understanding in which they identify suitable equi-business ventures together that are resuggested and address the food safety issues. Now let's look at how both parties can benefit through this strategic alliance. ABC will benefit through maintaining a foothold in China's agri-food industry. At the same time, they can leverage on CP's technical expertise and provide unique investment opportunities for clients. On the other hand, CP is able to enter into the agri-food industry in China, position and solidify itself as a leader in Asia and the world, and lastly increase investor confidence through alliance with ABC. So lastly, to address the management issues, CP should adopt meritocracy, making family members shareholders instead of managers, and lastly, to implement KPIs and reward-based remunerations. So first, management should be selected through meritocracy so that CP will be led and managed by capable people. Let's run management through meritocracy. We can get capable people to help us. What? Be shareholders. Don't worry. Great. So secondly, CP should set KPIs and reward employees based on their individual performance. So through meritocracy, there will be a reduction in the family element in CP, ensuring that only capable people are in, are in the management making objective decisions. Secondly, through setting KPIs and performance-based remuneration, CP will enjoy a driven workforce. I feel alive! So all in all, with a reduction in family element and a driven workforce, CP will, will be ready for future global expansion and increase in investors' confidence, thus achieving its objective to be number one in every food industry. We now evaluate the transparency issue. Initially, investors were unsure where their money is going. But through the listing of companies, the transparency issue is addressed and investors' confidence is regained. In terms of ease of implementation, it takes time for the family to let go of finances. Also, companies will have to adhere to listing requirements through change in company policy. Next is the issue of focus. Initially, CP was not focused. And this can be resolved through focusing on CP's core business, which is agri-food. And at the same time, food safety is also addressed through strategic alliance in China with ABC. As for the ease of implementation, it is easy for CP to focus on its core business since it is already shutting down some of its non-core businesses. At the same time, it possesses high level of expertise in the agri-food industry. Next, forming a strategic alliance with ABC will not be difficult since a win-win situation is created. CP can position itself as a leader in food safety in Asia through helping China solve its food safety issues. And ABC will, will be able to have new investment products to offer to its clients. Lastly, the issue of family-oriented management. Initially, CP was run by the family. This can be mitigated through the implementation of meritocracy to reduce the family element to ensure objective decisions are made through a capable management. Also, KPIs and performance-based remunerations ensures a driven workforce. However, it takes time to convince the family and change company culture. So in conclusion, with transparency, as well as a focused strategy, and lastly, objective management, CP will be able to achieve its goal as becoming number one in the agro-food industry and poised to expand into global markets.